नमस्ते दोस्तों सरल बात आपका स्वागत है दोस्तों टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू मीट अ ग्रेट पर्सनालिटी हु हैज वर्क अ लॉट फॉर द सोसाइटी बाय प्रोफेशन ही इज अ कार्डियोलॉजिस्ट डॉक्टर एंड हैविंग हिज ओन हॉस्पिटल इन वोलॉन्ट होली ट्रिनिटी हॉस्पिटल बट ही इज मोर देन अ डॉक्टर टुडे बिकॉज ही हैव डन लॉट ऑफ सोशल वर्क एंड चैरिटी वर्क फॉर सर्विंग द सोसाइटी एंड टचड मेनी पीपल्स लाइफ बाय हिज वर्क He has been recently awarded Inspiring Leaders Award. But our recipient, let's give it up for Dr. Thomas Koshi, CEO and founder, who is a consultant physician, cardiologist, and diabetologist. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the visionary CEO and founder of Holy Trinity Hospital in Milan West and Thane, and a distinguished consultant physician, cardiologist, and diabetologist. His expertise and dedication has led to the establishment of healthcare excellence. benefiting countless patients in this region let's congratulate dr thomas fokshi so welcome to our show sir vipat sir it's Thank really you. a honor to have you in our show and i'm really feeling very proud to be in touch with you and to see you in my show sir sabse pehle to main yahi janna chahungi ki shuruaat se what inspired you to become a doctor in childhood it was only a fascination because uh, no, nobody from my family were doctors but uh, some of my dad's very close friends were uh, top doctors you know very very big doctors and so they used to come home and i was uh, literally fascinated by those uh, people you know so the respect they get and the uh, thing so it it, all, it just fascinated me i said you know compared to another uh, profession you know this is something different so in childhood it was a fascination but then as i uh, started growing up i started realizing that uh, it's more than a fascination because uh, the uh, this is the only profession where you get to really uh, serve people because uh, and especially when i joined my mbbs i realized uh, that this is this is the place where you can really touch so many lives why did you choose to become a cardiologist heart specialist when i finished mbbs and then uh, started doing house surgery so that is a time when uh, there was there was no clear idea of you know that what exactly you wanted because every department you go you are fascinated by that department you know because everything is so unique but then what happened in the critical care unit and the posting in uh, internal medicine and cardiology we were seeing uh, so many things which were happening uh, so dynamic and uh, you had to take instant decisions and uh, even a fraction of a second decision change would cost big lives and that was the one which uh, really you know uh, made me choose that you know that i knew that uh, i had to do that you have no time to uh, think you know before you think you have to act and it has to be very fast because uh you know how it is because a patient coming with a heart attack if you just waste time you know we uh, we say that the the golden period you know you have to immediately save life so that is what fascinated more about uh, cardiology so normally it is seen that uh, doctors you know they get good paid in big cities and many doctors we have seen they are good making good money and uh, they are not really very interested in going to serving people and all although it is a noble profession but this is the fact how come you diverted yourself towards social work and taking so much of attention towards the society and well-being of the society and doing so much of service for the society i will answer it in two parts ma'am both your this thing so uh, generally there is a uh, I mean see uh, i do agree that you know this profession does pay very handsome but if uh, someone really wants to make money then this is not the profession that they have to be that's what i strongly recommend because there are much much uh, other professions and jobs where you can earn so much more money but here what you earn is much beyond money because you earn the respect and that love and appreciation which i don't think any other profession can earn you know while doing mbbs i realized that there's so much of sickness and suffering going on and the least that you can do is you know to change somebody's life you know? and uh, that uh, thought of doing charity came automatically and when we started practice from day one itself we are doing lots and lots of uh, charitable work and in fact in our hospital also 
uh, in our own hospital holy trinity hospital we cater to lot of uh, people from a lower socio economic status and uh, do lots of work so that we see that they also get the best of the treatment and also you know that i am the head of the department for the government hospital here so when i go there i give them the same treatment that i give them in the private hospital here or when i'm at i'm also attached to fortis and to uh, lh hiranandani hospital at pawai so i give them the same treatment the same time i don't uh, look into you know whether they can pay or not because ultimately the satisfaction comes when you see that smile they come to you with sickness with suffering they are crying but when they go back you know they are smiling they come back next to you for a follow i don't think any amount of money can bring you uh, that satisfaction and the joy uh, so you know you have to literally experience that to get that feeling any one memorable uh, incidents which you feel that uh... it should be highlighted i can just tell you when we started our hospital you know holy trinity hospital so this was uh, i think way back in uh, 2001 so when we started when the inauguration was going on you know we were not ready for because we said we'll finish the inauguration the prayers and maybe you know after a day or two we start the official work because everything because a lot of crowd and you know the Uh, people coming well wishers with bouquets and flowers and you know the whole hospital was in a the thing the first uh, person was rushed into uh, you know when we saw there was no bp there was no pulse i mean hardly very feeble bp and pulse and uh, this lady was a, a very obese lady i still remember in her uh, early 40s and uh, they said that she was having some pain in the uh, abdomen and which had suddenly worsened while she was eating food and she had literally collapsed and she was brought to us so everybody told us you know missy we are not geared up to start the hospital you know please send her away because i mean uh, abhi function chalu hai you know how are you but uh, uh, what happened was these relatives were known to me since uh, the thing so they said sab kuch to karo fast and uh, luckily what had happened was uh, the uh, icu portion was uh, all ready all set to start so we immediately took her to the icu and then i could not attend the rest of the function and we sat with her and that was a perforated appendix the appendix had burst and can you believe you know that night we resuscitated her and when the i called my surgeon and the anesthetist what they told me was you know sir there is no way that she will survive day 1 on your opening you are going to have one death in the hospital please send her away to some other hospital the sick the relatives were not ready to take they said you know sir if she is dying it's okay but let her die in your in your hands my god i said opening opening me i didn't want this you will not believe ma'am uh, i told the anesthetist and the surgeon see we will try our level best took her to the operation theater we operated ma'am two full days i was sitting with her that was the opening day two full days sat with her she was operated everything done after two days the bp came up everything came and to date she still comes to us for follow and uh, what else can i say you know i mean she herself is a walking testimony around telling you know everybody you know when she walks around she tells everybody that you know that, that this is the hospital on day one this doctor saved my life so this is this is just uh, one of the incidences and uh, one more to mention you know one of uh, my very close uh, friend so he called up and said you know his wife was having some fainting attack so she was she works in the income tax and uh, at gatkopur station she had a fainting attack and so she just got down in the station and uh, like how you know people give some water somebody gave her a chocolate and this and then she said no no i'm not feeling well that i want to go back so they called her husband and one of the friend accompanied and brought her to mulund at mulund station she just collapsed the husband told me you know doctor i'm just rushing to the hospital and already i was there in the hospital so when she came she was no pulse bp she had a cardiac arrest we gave her cpr for more than 1 hour ma'am so the entire team told me you know ki that doctor there is no use because there is nothing she is already you know like i mean 1 hour of cpr that there is nothing that can be uh, done i said see because she is getting in between 1 1 pulse she was getting we did this we resuscitated her and then of course we did a little angiography her angioplasty was done and today till date she is surviving and she is doing very well so that was a cardiac arrest which was resuscitated after one hour
so to give you every day you know gives us newer challenges newer uh, learning lessons and uh, when these people come back to you you know the smile on the face and they tell you you know so that is when you you know they tell you, you know that uh, doc the doctor you are next to god that you know you have saved our life so that feeling of uh, you know that uh, you know you feel that 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 the smile on their face the gratitude you know i don't think uh, anything can buy that uh, that 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 happiness we get the last question i just wanted to ask you about your journey which you have recently received an inspiring leaders award so something about that this is uh, i mean uh, four years back also ma'am i received uh, one of the best uh, physicians award from times of india so then they had published a coffee table book in which i featured you know so i was, this was a journey that you know been they did a survey across uh, the singh and then they they found because two hospitals that we created and then so many leadership roles and uh, like what you said in lot of charitable works and so many uh, lives that we touched so that was that was an award and uh, it in fact it came as a surprise when the call came that you know that you are receiving an award and uh, from the uh, you saw from 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 the legendary uh, cricketer arbhajan singh you know uh, from his hand i got the award it's a motivation you know because for, for what you have done people uh, acknowledge you like i told you every day we get awards by patients coming back and thanking you but uh, this is another honor that you get you know when uh, society also accepts that that you have done something good for society thank you so much sir for sharing your valuable time with us dosto uh, isi tarike se aapke sath judte rahenge naye logo ko aapse milwate rahenge nayi information aapke sath share karte rahenge thank you